What's going on everybody? It's Blackjack. Welcome back to Cowrie After Story. Cowrie about to get out that car and that dress I bought her. Oh yeah. Or we'll just head back out to the ice rink. That's also fine too. I follow her, unsure of where we're going. Her pace is a little quicker than normal. She's excited about something. I urge myself to keep up, but she's always a few steps ahead of me. After several minutes go by, I'm really starting to feel the ache in my legs. The land is all flat, but she's going on forever. Are we there yet? Shouldn't a flat land make your legs feel okay? No. How about now? No. <sighs> Another 10 minutes go by. Finally, she uh, halts to a stop, making me crash into her. I stumble backwards, just barely catching my footing. But then you hold on to her, and you get those lovely hips around your arms, and you're a happy person because you're there with your girlfriend, who you love dearly. She turns around and smiles as I crash straight into her. We're here. <clears throat> I blink and look around. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That's dope. I like this. It's a nice area. Oh, we were all country, but here's the big old city from far away. It's like when you look at New Jersey and that, that, that line up nearby Jersey City and you look over and you can see New York City right out that way. That's pretty cool. It takes me to a more secluded part, edge of the park. Across from the river is the city. The lights from the building shimmer in beaming yellows and crimsons, casting a beautiful reflection across the river. Wow, this is beautiful. She smiles and nods. I'm glad we finally made it. It'll be the perfect view for the fireworks. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that was the surprise? She nods. This was always my favorite spot to watch them. I'm sure it'll be great. My dad took us here when I was really little. We had gone into the town to join the crowd for the fireworks, and I got scared. And now for me to ruin that moment of you and your dad watching fireworks together by having me here. You? Scared? No, I can buy I can buy her being scared. They were right over my head and so loud. Still can't picture it. I was like four, okay? Yeah, how can you not picture that? I chuckle. Anyway, my sisters didn't want to have to miss the fireworks. So my dad took all of us out here. It was so much calmer and quieter. I loved it. We come here every year. I told them I wanted to show you the fireworks too. I slip her hand in mine to give it a slight squeeze. For a moment, we fall into a comfortable silence. We can hear the crowd from the distance, distance animated and cheering for the new year to begin. After a moment, Cowrie glances at me. We're about to kiss. Uh, let me go ahead and just save real quick, because I know how New Year's goes. I've had many of these happen to me before. I'm really glad you came with me to visit my family for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me. Yeah, we have spent literally over a week and a half together. Me too. No, really. This year has been one of the best years of my life because... Yay! She hesitates, struggling for the words. Here, her face uh, steady, steadily flushes red. This year, I got to meet you. Really? This has all happened in, like, literally less than months. That's kind of awesome. To, that's also, like, awesome and, like, reassuring to hear that someone is, like, that kind of infatuated about you in that, like, short of a time. That... I can say, in, in what has it now been? No, I mean, like, I, I don't want to say, like, 28 years, because it's, like, that's literally how long I've lived. But in, like, the probably 11 to 10 years I've been, like, dating around, it's it's very rare that that happens. Like, super fucking rare. So, to actually have that, that's kind of nice. Just wait until next year. Do you <laughs> mean it? Next year is going to be even better. Oh, lame. Oh, why is that? I throw my arm around her. Because things can only get better the longer we're together. The year after that will be even better. And the year after that... She giggles. You're silly. I know I am, because we'll be broken up by next year. No, I'm kidding. I grin at her and kiss her on the cheek. I'm happy I can make her smile. Suddenly, there's a loud explosion followed by a bus burst of gold. We look up at the sky. Fireworks bloom in and out of the darkness. The cheering of the crowd reaches a crescendo. I glare at Kauri, but she's not looking at me anymore. She's looking at the fireworks bursting off into the sky. The colors burst across her face and turn her into a creature of light. There's so much more to Kauri than what everyone else sees. Oh my god, she pushes me hard to do better and keeps me accountable to the team. I remember when she first shared her bento with me and how I learned you could still be a good cook even if it's healthy food. I I, 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 I felt terrible actually for doing that. Like I did the mocking kind of thing, but it's, it's actually a very nice scene. 
I'm just bitter. I, I remember the first time I saw her face light up when she was with her daycare kids and how gentle and patient she was with them. I remember that night was shared in the uh, we, that night we shared in the glass igloo, cuddled beneath the blanket, bearing our souls to each other. As I look at her glowing beneath the stars, I feel as if she never looked more beautiful. My insides start to squirm. The promise ring feels heavy in my pocket. It's now or never. Oh God! Oh, this really was an option. Oof! Oof! Can I say? Can I? Can I save this oof? I'm gonna save this oof. Um. This feels so weird. It's it's only been months. Like even like even now, I'm like I don't know if I could actually propose to someone like within months of knowing them. I would feel like comfortable and like secure with them months of knowing them. I don't know if I like for the sake of the story. I'm doing this. I take a deep breath. Oh, this is gonna get. Hey, Kauri. Mm -hmm. She turns to face me. I dig into my pocket and pull out the promise ring. Oh, I cringe just at the words promise ring. It glints in the light of the fireworks. Kauri's eyes widen. She takes in a sharp breath. My heart pounds in my ears. I didn't prepare anything fancy to say. You shouldn't. It's a promise ring. But suddenly, all my feelings for her are pouring out at once. Things between us have been really great. Ever since you came into my life, you made things so much brighter and fuller. I'm so glad I get to be uh, with someone I share my passions with. That is actually that is actually kind of a key point. You, that 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 is good. Sharing your passions with someone is fucking awesome. Um, I'm so glad I get to have you by my side. She gives me a curious look, uncertain of what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing either. I'm about to give someone a promise ring. I feel stupid doing that. This is a promise ring. Oh God, <laughs> everything that he just said just got completely washed away. I know that we've only been uh, together for a short time and I know that what I'm doing is crazy, but it's because I'm absolutely heel, head over heels uh, crazy for you, Kauri. And also because I spent more than $300 on this shit, so you better say yes. <laughs> I take her hand in mine and slip the ring into her finger. She watches me, stunned, speechless. I want you to have this so you know that I'm serious about us. I know we're young and it's too early to think about engagements and all that stuff, so this is a promise to me to you that I'll be the best boyfriend I, po I can possibly be. Listen, that's, that, that's, that sounds like, that, that's actually perfect. <laughs> the promise ring, though, is really, like, killing the tone of that a little bit. <laughs> She doesn't say anything for a moment. Her eyes are wide and teary, completely focused on the ring. I mean, it might actually be nice, but it's it's such a, like, a... It, it's so weird, because tone-wise for me, that doesn't match. But I can see how this might match for other people. Uh, panic spikes in my checks. Uh, Kauri? Yeah, she's probably over-flustered with emotion right now. Again, she doesn't say anything. Maybe this was a bad idea after all. What was I thinking about going full force without even asking how she felt about us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you if you were okay with this, and I was just acting like my dumb self. But granted, she's probably okay with this, but still, probably a good idea to ask, or like get a feel for it. That uh, it seems to snap her out of her thoughts. She hits me in the chest, but there is no force behind it. She lets out a wet laugh. Probably what I would do too. Um, also, thumbnail. Of course I'm okay with it, idiot. Baka! She laughs again, this time more stunned and happy. A broad grin splits, uh, splits my face as I keep carrying my arms and spin her. My heart feels so light, I'm like walking on air. The fireworks are booming in my ears, so loud it almost feels like I'm underwater. Kauri is smiling up at Kauri is smiling. Kauri! Kauri! Is smiling up at me, still teary eyed. With all those blues and violets exploding behind her, she reaches out and her uh, vines, uh, and vines her arms around my neck, delicate as ivy. Leanna would beg to differ. I bend down as she rises onto her toes. I hear the shouts of the people far in the distance counting down the seconds. A trail of glitter shoots high in the sky, higher than any of the others, and showers the inky darkness with an explosion of rainbows. The cheer fades into the background as Kyrie kisses me, long and sweet. My heart vaults. It feels like how stars must, right before they shoot across the sky. When we pull apart, our breath is ragged and breathless. She smiles and kisses the corner of my mouth. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Holy shit, is it really almost? Oh my god, we're 20 days away from that. 21 days away from that. 22 days away from that. Which, by the time that this is released, it will probably actually be 
14 days away from that, but whatever. I smiled back, brushing the hair from her face. Happy New Year. We kiss again as the sky sparkles between us. This past year has been full of ups and downs. I face loss, but I've also gained love. Kauri's strength keeps me grounded. With her guidance and care, I know I can face anything the future throws at me. But as I stand here with her, our bodies entwine between uh, beneath up uh, beneath. Yeah, no, no, no. That says beneath the glittering boom of fireworks. I am excited and ready to start this new year together. And I didn't even get to open my new beer. Cheers, everyone. With Kauri. It's nice. If I drink, it'll it'll eliminate bitterness. It will. What a nice moment though. That's 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 kind of sweet. Oh, and it's over just like that. Wow. Wow, this episode's gonna be a little short then, isn't it? Oh, look at them, they're so happy with their promise rings. What it is to be a teenager again, and that is Kauri After Story, everybody. Wow, well, that was kind of fun, short, to the point. Um, definitely worth the, um, I don't, well, how much is this on Steam? Is it, I think it's like maybe nine? If you've at least played Ace Academy beforehand, I d highly suggest doing that first before you dive into this. Um, but this was actually kind of worth it. It was very fun, some good animation, some good CG, um, and definitely like a nice kind of quick, like short little chapter or chapter and a half of what they consider the length of like Crystalline to just kind of be a nice like heartwarming story. And honestly, for what it is, you can't really ask for anything more than that. It was very well done and I kind of give Give it up to the uh, the VAs and give it up to uh, the writers and everybody involved in it. It was very well done. Now, I have one question though. Credits, please. <clears throat> uh, director, yeah, those these guys are all good. Yeah, you know, he's the director, that, that guy. Uh, you got uh, Sunimu, who's the character artist. Uh, Mimi, the background artist. You got your writers, your animator, your composer, your programmers. Look at all this wonderful cast who is all together in this. Yeah, oh, th there we go. There's our answer of who's the vocalist for the, the, the opening song. It was Liz Robinette. Yeah, or Robinette. I don't know. Um, and you got the Patreons. Hmm, let's see. We need to scroll down here. Oh. Oh, the legendary supporters. Okay, not quite legendary. Legend, legend knows about me, but let me just go down a little bit more. Supporters. Mm. 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 Hey, hey, hey. There it is. Woo! Oh, I did it. I, I, I am responsible for this game being created. Oh, credits to me. Credits to me. Oh, all the credit. All the, uh, and I mean, and all these people did good too. All, all these other people, they, they were great. They, they were, they were wonderful. They did. But most importantly, but most importantly, I, I did it. I did it. Let's, 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 you know what? I, I won't be so mean. I won't be so mean. I'll give, I'll give everybody else their, their fair share of time. They deserved it, especially God and, and Corbin Cox and uh, and Jake Flint and uh, and Ashton Haskell and uh, and Cody Michael Anthony Parsons. Just four names. He's got four names. Um, and then and then also uh, T with Aura and then Anthony Schreiber uh, and, and Joaquin Soliza and then and then also Scary Beat Productions. And so scary that the production scared the shit out of you. Um, and then you got, uh, you got Guillermo2620, and then X to Crass, and then you got, you got File Not Found. Uh, 404 will sue, sue you very soon. Um, and, and then that's everybody. That's everybody. So, um, to all the Pixel Faders out there, we made this possible. Um, and to the directors, the voice actors, the artists, to everybody who was involved in this, thank you so much. It was actually kind of a fun... A uh, little playthrough to go through. A nice kind of heartwarming story. Um, even for someone like me that still had moments where it was like very, very fun to just kind of go through and just kind of immerse yourself in the main character 
and enjoy the story for what it was. So thank you all for the experience. And um, yeah, uh, most importantly, I'm the reason why this happened. But thank you all again so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more of me just kind of being an idiot and doing stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe down below. Leave a like on the video and then uh, tell me what you thought about Cowrie After Story now that we've all wrapped it all up. You know what? Actually, this episode's kind of short. Should we see what happens if you don't have the ring? Or if you say no to giving a ring? I'm kind of curious. Hold on. All right. What if I say never? I wrap my arm around her and pull her close. She smiles and suggles into my side. Together we watch the fireworks go off one by one. When she looks at me, her bright smile, her smile is bright and without restraint. The crowd begins their countdown and then... Carrie raises, uh, rises up on her tippy toes and kisses me. I kiss her back, feeling her melt into me. When we pull away, we're breathless and pink, the heavens bursting in rainbows around us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year indeed. I smile and cup her face between my hands, brushing her hair away from her warm cheeks. Happy New Year. We kiss again as the sky is sparkling between us. This past year has been full of ups and downs. Okay, I can imagine myself as the same, yeah. The Carrie, yep. Yeah. But... Do you get the, oh, no, you don't. Oh, so if you don't get her the ring, you're just kind of left blue balled with a black screen. Well, now we kind of know what happens. All right, so again, Cowrie After Story. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you thought about it all. I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Good night. So Mizuno ended up on my bed. It's nowhere near as exciting as it sounds. <laughs> it isn't. Jesus, <laughs> cool, so to see, I hate that Baka Bear! Baka Baka Kuma! Yeah, I know that feel, Mizuno. So what if me and my Nakama from the Kawaii Choir got a little Whoa. drunk one night and took photos of herself? She sounds like Kauri. Sumi Ma Sen for having a good time! Yeah, I Wait, totally agree. Who? What? I mean, we got really down and dirty too, Nagi. It was at this you moment that I was... Oh my god, it is her! It's the same boy! It is Sid! What the fuck? No way! It really is! She's fucking Mizuno! Did you tell them to stop being a pervert? <laughs>